Yeah, you should, you need to be able to, I mean, there's a lot of things. You got to be able to act. You need to be able to talk clearly, <laughs> like me. I can speak really clearly. Uh, you, sh you can't have a lisp, you know. Uh, and it, it doesn't matter too much if you can do accents, but it helps, you know. Um, oh, and if you're here in Texas, you have to be able to sound like a regular person. <laughs> no, you have to sound like somebody from Hollywood, I guess. Um, like, that doesn't have, like, it's just kind of like this, you know, there's no, like, weird inflection. Um, which was hard for me, because I, I didn't even know I had one until I started recording Triga, and they're like, that sounds very weird. <laughs> I don't even know, like, I can't even think... I mean, you know, you know, like we say fixin' or something, right? People don't say fixin'. Like, I'm not fixin' to go to the store or anything. Now, what does that mean to anywhere else? I used to say that the first time I went to California. Hey, I'm fixin' to go to the store. You want something? I'm like, what? You're fixin' what at the store? I'm not fixin' to go to the store. What does that mean? What does that mean, actually? Who came up with that? Seriously. Does that mean something? Like, does it, does it come from something? It doesn't make any sense. Well, I know what it means because I don't know. I mean, is it like a merge of a couple of different words? It doesn't make any sense. I'll say more too. A merge of a couple of other words. Fixing though, what is that a merge of? Drunk guy was playing Scrabble. Fixing too. Well, see, you're trying to you're trying to clarify what it is with the word, though. You're like, you know, like fixing too. Like, that's better. But like, oh, fixing and fixing. Like, there's a G at the end. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> fixing is like, I broke the microphone. I need to fix the microphone. I am fixing the microphone. Doesn't mean I'm about to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fixing the microphone. You're about to do what? You're going to what? It's weird, isn't it? Uh, I'm trying to think of anything weird in California when I went out there. They don't really say anything really weird. Except for like. You know, like, like. Like and you know. Or they say, no, yeah? Like, there's like a, like, if they're agreeing with you, it's like, no, right? You know, it's like, what? Why, why are you saying no? <laughs> you agree, right? No, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, it's really strange. Yes? What was the toughest anime you ever done? Toughest anime I've ever done. <sighs> toughest anime. Renton and Odeco was pretty tough in the beginning. Because they wanted me to speak really high pitched, you know? Um, and Code Geass was pretty tough too because the direction was different from the way I would have. Or, like I would like actually play the character because uh, he's supposed to be a darker character, you know, kind of evil or whatever when he's zero. And so, in my mind, I would want to go to a deeper, darker place. But it was actually a stranger place. It was more outgoing, zero, you know, and that kind of thing. And they kept they said it was actually. I, I, I'm assuming this is what he meant. The, the Japanese director wanted it to be like Phantom of the Opera, and I was like, what does that mean? Yeah, I was like, melodramatic, you know? Like, yes. I was like, oh, okay, all right, that's really strange, but yeah. So, like, it doesn't threaten me at all if, like, you know, some, somebody's talking like this and he's the bad guy. <laughs> what? But later on in the series, it makes sense, it gets darker and deeper, so. At the time, when I first started doing it, I was like, man, it's just weird, man. Because I feel like I'm being corny. Um, but that's funny, because I do remember when uh, I had, it, the first time, not the first time, but this is maybe the second time I played a get bad guy was uh, Heat Guy J. And uh, he was very flamboyant, you know, and he talked, you know, girlish. <laughs> and, and then I was like, it's not very threatening to anyone, right? To hear a guy that sounds like that, it was like, but to the Japanese, it's scary. Uh, this is what they told me, and they kept telling me, can you sound more gay? <laughs> Which is, it's, that's what they told me, and I was like, I guess. It was very strange though. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so you're the host of Anime TV, and it only went so many episodes. Uh, what caused you to, like, stop doing Anime TV? Um, backing. 
basically. Um, there, there seems to be a lot of fan support, but uh, to keep doing the show like that, it definitely costs money, you know, because when we did that, we actually did that in a short weekend. We shot all these episodes. Um, and so it was more kind of like, let's see how it does, you know. Um, and then there's a lot of talk of people saying like, yeah, okay, it's picked up or it's getting, these people are going to sponsor it or whatever. And so it's really finding the right sponsors and stuff like that. So I really don't know what's going on. I keep, I keep hearing through the grapevine that they're going to do it again, but I haven't seen anything. And, you know, by the time they want to do it again, I'm probably not going to be around. I might get hit by a bus. Who knows? <laughs> um, don't do that. But uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me, though, if they got somebody else to do it, you know, if it happened. I did hear, though, that they wouldn't make it darker. Yeah, okay. that's what I thought. I was like, what do you mean? Like, dark, dark in the lights? Goth? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to be wearing makeup? <laughs> or I'm going to be like, welcome to Anime TV. I don't know how that'd be darker, but it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I was just like, okay, cool. Um... You just recently worked with Final Fantasy Dissidia. Yes. What was that like? It was strange. It was, uh, I, I'm familiar with some of the characters from Final Fantasy. Uh, Furion wasn't familiar with. Um, I, and I, they told me he's like from earlier on, like a lot, of, like much earlier in the series, I guess. And so there was never a voice to the character. Right. Um, so I thought, okay, that's kind of cool. And then I read through, and I kind of like saw a picture of him, and I knew how I wanted to play him. Um, but then when I went in there, they, they had like a whole different perspective of how he should be played. So I had to kind of like, oh, okay, I can't, I can't. Like my first initial thought would be, this is how I want to play the character. But then I had to go, no, wait, I got to do it this other way, which was kind of weird at first, you know, for me. Uh, hopefully it sounds good. I don't know. It kind of, it's hard for me to sometimes like. It, not that it was bad direction or anything, because I'm not saying that. It was just, like, different from what I would initially want to do, you know? He did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes? Um, I remember reading on Wikipedia that, um... Uh, do you believe Wikipedia? Because it's not exactly true. Uh, in fact, I'll, t I'll say something before you say that. I remember, like, somebody kept, like, bringing up something from Wikipedia, and I was like, what? What is this Wikipedia thing? And so I go there and I'm like, this information is totally incorrect. And so, you know how you can like submit or whatever, a whole thing? So I did. I wrote the entire thing out, like everything. Like seriously, like from work, like when I was born to like, you know, what I was doing at the time, you know? Uh, and I, like I had everything in there and I had them in sections and everything so that it'd be really clear what was going on in my life. And then it got denied. <laughs> Whoever else is doing it. Uh, and it got totally denied, and they put the old one back up, and I was like, okay, that's how it is. So, what's your question? 